the presence of God Almighty and lie against him. If you took your powers from the devil, you dare not even open your mouth in the presence of the holy angels to say, Lord, I did this in your name. When you knew that you never did these things in God's name. If you know that you use Satan's power, you dare not even open your mouth to say that. These are people who genuinely work for God. But there were sins in their lives they never repented of. And Jesus Christ is going to tell them, even though I used you, you are now cast away. Because even when you preach to others, you refuse to discipline yourself. Remember what Paul said, that I beat my body and bring it under subjection so that when I have preached to others, I myself, I may not end up becoming a castaway. You can work for God and still end up in hell if you refuse to repent. You can be used by God, but if you fail to live by example, if you fail to live, to practice what you preach, the very words you preach, we stand against you on the last day. That is the truth. The truth is bitter, but we have to speak it. And these same people come before you, those false prophets, and tell you that don't worry, Jesus Christ is that. Listen, it is the Jesus that died that says the way is still narrow. He is the one that says the way is narrow. That the broad way where you can have girlfriends, have boyfriends, sleep with them, and masturbate, and watch pornography, and drink alcohol, and become drunk, and play all sorts of uh, gambling, and do all sorts of things. Those things will lead to destruction. You can be a Christian, you can be a Christian and do the very things you used to do in the world. How can you profess Christ? How can you say you are born again? And you still continue to do the very things that took Jesus Christ to the cross. The very things that made him to be seen for us. The very things that he came to die. Because of, how can we go back to these same things and find pleasure in them? There are lots of people who open the Bibles today and they find, they look for loopholes around God's word. They look for explanation. They use the word of God to excuse their lifestyle. Listen, let me tell you. It doesn't matter how much knowledge you have about God's word. It doesn't matter how many scriptures you can quote from the Bible. If you don't apply the word of God, the truth to your life, the truth is this one. If you don't apply it to your life, you're going straight to hell. 